Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Boxing Day edition of Ghana Tonight. We're live on news up here, Tedesawe Kanda, also live on TV Ghana on Facebook, yesterday channel 279, all across the world on 3news.com. I am Alfred Okansi tonight. Galamse is top of our radar tonight as the Bonso water treatment plant in Chimebuakwa in the Eastern region has been shut down due to the pollution of the Berm River by illegal miners. We have updates for you on this rather unfortunate development there and, and we'll tell you the areas that are going to be affected as a result of this shutdown of that treatment plant by Ghana Water Company Limited as a result of illegal mining. Well, I'm saying, as always, you're an integral part of the conversation. Let's hear from you. The hashtag we're using is Ghana Tonight on Facebook and X. Let's get talking. Welcome back to Ghana Tonight. The Ghana Water Company Limited has shut down the Bonso water treatment plant in the eastern region due to illegal mining activities. Now, illegal miners and the activities have been taking place in the water body for years despite government's fight against illegal mining. The Asian Regional Public Relations Officer of the Ghana Water Company Limited, Kujo Dasi, confirmed this to us earlier. Take a look. As the when the, the raw water quality becomes deteriorated, we are measuring about I mean, 7,000 and over NTU, which makes the water not treatable at all because it's, 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 it's more or less like you will be, you'll be pumping filth through your, your equipment, which is not as rich, will, will, will cause damage to our, our equipment. Whenever we see this kind of uh, the raw water character changing, we quickly have to suspend. So that has been the trend. In fact, I've been, I've been almost seven years in, in Kofi, still in Kofi, a year. Also, in a typical example, where we are spending about five times the cost, all because of this, uh, uh, the, the illegal activities um, uh, determining the raw water quality. And, and don't forget that that, that river, the Green River, Ghana Water Company has about four on the on, just alone on the on the river. So you can imagine the effect. Oh, so that's Kojoda said, and, and the, the river we are showing you is actually the river in question we're talking about that has been polluted by illegal mining activities. Now, we've been tracking this over, over the last five days, and here's what we got to know. Now, the suspension of the production initiated on December 23, uh, 2023, at 4 p.m., was prompted by a turbidity level reaching a staggering 6,290 NTU. The NTU here I'm talking about, and what you see on the screen there, is the nephilometric turbidity units, the NTU. On the 23rd of December, that's the number we saw. And it, it actually went up. Essentially, what they mean is the level of pollution went up from 6,290 to 7,130 on December 24. Now, it just reduced a bit to 6,160, but it wasn't enough to guarantee the treatment plant's integrity. That's what has led to the Ghana Water Company Limited shutting down this treatment plan as a result of the nephilometric turbidity units rising over the period. And, and that's what we're saying, and, and it's quite unfortunate. Awala Sewa, Executive Director of the Eco Conscious Citizens and Environmentalists. Awala, thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. Now, all these happening clearly depict the, the reality we are faced with, despite the position, you know, taking about this fight against illegal mining going well, is it not? Exactly. I don't think anybody believes it's going well. I haven't met a single person who believes it's going well. Uh, well, you, you haven't met a single person. Now, let me just interrupt you. But you hear the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, persons associated with government, even the President, talk about the fact that the fight is, is going well and it's improving over the period. So, yes, some hold that view. Well, the government says lots of things. I mean, one has to read between the lines. We are all aware of what's going on. We've all seen the documentaries, um, whether <clears throat> destruction for gold or poison for gold. We have people on the ground who will tell you what is actually happening. We know the state of our forests and forest reserves and water bodies. 
And recently, we, in fact, even before this, the water and sewage company had all had warned us over and over again that if things continued as they were, they would not be able to keep on purifying the water for us or treating the water. So it's not like this, it's anything new. We have been aware of this for quite some time. The only thing we need to do is to wake up and decide that we want to save our landscape, we want to save our water bodies. It's really up to us. We can't just uh, make pronouncements, which we know do not reflect the facts, and the population needs to sit up. We are going on to 2024. Do we want to have business as usual, or do we want to say enough is enough? Let's now have a serious fight against uh, illegal mining, not just the rhetoric. And I will find out before I let you go, what, what could possibly go wrong beyond what we've even seen now if we continue to live in this state of denial or leadership lives in this state of denial? Well, I mean, we know that, uh, well, I think one day we'll all open our taps and have either no water at all or very brown water coming out of our taps. And that's when maybe some of us will wake up to what is happening. There's a saying that when your neighbor's um, house is burning and you are not concerned, it might come to you. So it's good to do something about it. I remember the case with Kakum Park when people got all um, excited because there were threats of mining taking place there. There was such a strength of public feeling that the powers that be decided to say that, oh, they had no intention of granting the license and the application was withdrawn from their website. I believe this was on a Sunday. But the strength of feeling against illegal mining, I'm not sure it's as strong as it should be. We face a clear and present danger. We keep saying the same thing over and over again. Water is life. We've been told that with the activities going on, they'll reach a stage when the water can no longer be purified. We've reached that stage in a certain part of the country. We're all Ghanaians, so we are all affected by it. What more do we want to see? Do we want to all have brown water coming from our taps? Maybe that's what will have to happen. Otherwise, the citizens have to wake up, get up, and use all the tools, legal tools at their disposal to let the government know that we cannot continue like this. We want you to have a serious fight against illegal mining. We mm -hmm. want you to have a public inquiry into Professor Frimpong Boateng's report. We want all the people who were mentioned investigated and uh, prosecuted. We want you to hold a quanta mining accountable for what happened in the Tano Nimiri Forest Reserve. There That's are so right. many things I could mention that we don't really have the time to go on and on, but we want to see a serious fight against illegal mining. And let's be clear, when we say illegal mining, it doesn't mean we don't have a license. Mm -hmm. If you do have a license to mine and you go outside the parameters of your license, whether close to a water body or whatever, you are, in, you are engaged in illegal mining. Just as if you have a driving license and you decide to drive on the pavement, you are not driving lawfully. The fact that you've got a license doesn't mean you can do as you please. There are guidelines and regulations you need to follow. So getting into 2024, we are calling on Ghanaians to sit up and realize that we face an existential threat. The media has been brilliant or sections of the media have been brilliant. They've highlighted, highlighted, highlighted. Let's follow the money. Mm -hmm. These heavy duty equipment that's causing havoc. It's not every kojo or kwesi who can afford it. It takes a lot of money. So let's follow the money. We know they are highly placed persons who are behind the illegal mining. The president should just make a call uh, to those who may be his contact, people he might know who are involved, and mm. ask them to stop. And in addition to that, ask the IGP to cause investigations to be conducted. And those who have broken the law should be prosecuted. Right. Until they are very high profile prosecutions and convictions, I don't think anybody will believe that there's a serious fight against illegal mining. And also, LI2462 needs to be repealed with immediate effect because it's also clothing illegality with legalities, allowing virtually unfettered access to our forest reserves. And since it was passed, quite a number or a few forest reserves have been open to mining, even globally significant biodiversity areas, which is really 
unacceptable. It's damaging to the environment. Concerning indeed. Uh, well, I, I appreciate your passion and commitment to this. Thank you so much for joining us here on Ghana tonight. Awala Sewa is co-founder of, of Eco Conscious Systems an environmentalist as well. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. And on behalf of the rest of the team, I want to say thank you for joining us. Join us same time tomorrow. We've been talking to a number of you about your Christmas experience. Now, continue to share your thoughts with us on Facebook and X. Tomorrow we have a big conversation on that and your state of...